In this video we are discussing about aircraft oxygen systems. You now guys when altitude increases, atmospheric pressure decreases because the altitude increases the number of air molecules decreases. Aircraft oxygen systems supply oxygen to the flight crew, cabin crew, and passengers. Oxygen can be used for life-sustaining if the aircraft depressurizes, emergencies and first aid. Gaseous oxygen systems and chemical oxygen systems are used in the aircraft. The flight crew oxygen system operates independently systems. It is a high-pressure gaseous system. High-pressure gaseous oxygen is in a cylinder in the electronic equipment compartment. The manifold supplies oxygen to the flight crew oxygen masks. If cabin pressurization is lost when the aircraft is flying at an altitude above 14,000 feet, compartments containing the oxygen masks will open automatically, either above or in front of the passenger and crew seats, and the oxygen masks will drop down in front of the passenger. The passenger oxygen system uses chemical oxygen generators. The generators are in the passenger service units. Each chemical generator is separate, and supplies only its masks. The masks connect to the chemical generators by flexible tubes. The oxygen generators make oxygen by a chemical reaction. In the reaction sodium chlorate and iron react to make salt and release oxygen. If the oxygen systems is not installed in the aircraft then the passenger and crews have to be affected by hypoxia. Hypoxia is defined as a lack of oxygen in the body tissues. This can be caused either by a shortage of oxygen in the air being breathed, or by a number of physiological issues affecting blood circulation or the quantity of oxygen carried by hemoglobin in the blood. The effects of hypoxia include fatigue, confusion, euphoria, inability to concentrate, impaired decision-making, impaired psychomotor performance, loss of consciousness and, eventually, death. 